Welcome to the first week in your Simply Aroma Consultant training. For the next 11 weeks, you'll be getting access to a weekly training video just like this at the rate of one per week. These next three months are crucial to your long-term success as a Simply Aroma Consultant. And it's our goal to make sure that you start them off with the best possible tools. If you've taken the time to watch the four new consultant training videos, you've already got a great solid foundation upon which to build your business. These weekly trainings are designed to build on what you've already learned and give you much more detailed, specific tools for success at your parties, as you work with your hosts, and as you become a strong recruiter and begin to build your team. We're going to start by taking a more in-depth look at how to have a successful party because that's the key to success in your business. You have to focus on making this party the most amazing, fun, interactive experience that any of your guests or hosts have ever had, unless they've been to one of your parties before. I always said I wanted people walking out of my parties saying to me, that's the most fun I've ever had at one of these home parties. So this week, we're going to begin by talking about how you connect with your guests in the very beginning of that party experience and how you create an intentional opening for your party so you set yourself up for success. Let's start by talking about the beginning of the party experience, the first 15 to 20 minutes before you actually start your presentation. Now make it your goal to mingle and connect with your guests in a casual, social way. We talked briefly in the new consultant training videos about the value of connection and making sure that other people feel valued by you. So I want to begin today by exploring the language that you're using as your guests arrive in order to connect with them and begin to build that all important relationship. You might think the best way to connect is to open the casual conversation with a question. So far so good. Now what question would you typically ask? Maybe, have you ever been to a Simply Aroma party before? Or what's your favorite Simply Aroma product? You know, I want you to ask yourself, who are those questions about? You, your company, and your products, right? Here's the thing. The guests at your party don't come there just for your products. So why are they there that night at that party? Well, they're there to have a fun, to connect with the host and with their friends not just to focus entirely on your products. So why not make your question about them? That way, they feel valued by you, and if you become a great listener, you learn some really valuable information about them that just might support you at the end of the evening in getting them to book an event or possibly even look at your opportunity. The best question that I've ever found for instant connection, and more importantly, the best question that I've ever found for launching you into an even deeper connection and conversation with the guest is, how do you know the host? Here's why. No matter what that person's answer is to that question, it always leads to another question. Here are a few examples. How do you know the host? She says, well, we work together. Really, you say, what do you do for a living? Or you say, how do you know the host? She says, well, our kids go to school together. Really? How many kids do you have? You say, how do you know the host? She says, well, I don't really know the host. I came with Carolyn. You say, really? How do you know Carolyn? <laughs> you get the idea. Now you have the opportunity to engage her in conversation around something that matters to her, her work, her kids, that kind of thing, and to ask her more questions about that, like, really, how long have you worked there? What do you love most about being the mom of boys? Really? Uh, how old are your kids? What are they involved in? How long have you known Carolyn? How did you two meet? You make it about them. And then make sure that you listen carefully to their answers. Instead of waiting to, to fill them in on your job, your kids, etc., the more you can make this conversation about them and not you, the more success you're going to have. I tell my clients all the time to literally get amnesia about their own lives at this point in the party and make it their job to learn as much as they can about the guests. Remember, being listened to is so close to being loved, most people can't tell the difference. 
So learn to be a great listener. This one shift can truly change not only your business, but your life. And as simple as it sounds, it's really not that easy. I know for me, I was enthusiastic about my company and my products. I wanted to share that enthusiasm right from the beginning. So I had to literally remind myself to hold back and to take that time to make it about them. When I did that, they were much more open and relaxed to actually hear my passion and my enthusiasm during the course of my presentation and for the rest of that evening. So now you've connected with your guests and you're ready to step into your presentation. The key to success here is to remember that the beginning of your Simply Aroma presentation is going to set the tone for the whole evening. So let's look at a very intentional way for you to open your party. The first thing that you have to do at your parties is communicate the fun that's in store for your guests. How do your guests know what to expect? Well, remember, they're probably already expecting it to be somewhat painful and a chore because remember, they've most likely had a bad experience at a home party in the past. So you have to overcome that. A strong opening for your party is really essential because it sets your guests up to be involved and to know what to expect from you. Now I'm going to share the opening that I used during my parties with you here. And you can choose to do this verbatim or you can take bits and pieces that you think will work for you. The key to this opening is that it's intentional and it gets those guests involved from the very beginning and it sets the tone for the evening. I always started by asking if anybody in the room had ever done the Hokey Pokey. Now everybody's going to raise their hand because everybody has done the Hokey Pokey at some point in their lives. And if you're anywhere near my generation, I'll just say you probably did it on roller skates. <laughs> so the last verse of the Hokey Pokey is you put your whole self in. So I would tell my guests that tonight was going to be a last verse of the Hokey Pokey experience and that I needed them to put their whole selves in and participate with me and have fun for the entire evening. Next, I outlined the rules for the evening. These are essential because they not only put you in charge, they also set the tone for the rest of that night. My rules were, rule number one, you must have fun. This truly was my number one rule, and I wanted to be sure that they knew right off the bat that this was the rule. So in order to keep things fun, I would appoint a cheerleader whose job it was to get excited and cheer during the party. I informed the guests that she was a cheerleader, not a cheer soloist, and that they needed to join in whenever she cheered. Then I had them practice just to make sure that they got it and that they were all involved. By this time, people will start to loosen up and have fun based on the tone that you're setting. Rule number two, you are not allowed to say anything negative about anyone or anything, particularly my products. That way, if there's anybody who's inherently negative, had a bad day at your party, they're put on alert in a really fun way right from the beginning. If you want to, you can create a, what I call the party cop, whose job it is to call out anybody who's being negative. They can do this using a prop like a koosh ball thrower or even a squirt gun. The idea is to make it light and fun while still letting those who are a little negative know that they can't bring that energy to your party. Rule number three, you must listen to my commercials. And I promise I'll make them fun and short and sweet. I talked briefly about this during the new consultant training video when we worked on your booking commercial. And if you let your guests know upfront that you'll be doing commercials and that those are the times during your party when you share all of the most important information, then they're expecting those and they're ready for your commercials when they come up. I'd say, during my presentation, please feel free to get up and grab a second brownie or chat with your friend, but during my commercials, I'm gonna ask you to listen. I promise I'll keep them short and sweet and to the point, and I will be sharing things that you definitely want to learn about. It worked like a charm. Inevitably, when I said it's time for a commercial, my guests would all go shh and listen intently. It was really kind of funny. Since I was talking about booking, sponsoring, and selling, that's when I most wanted them to be paying attention. Now let's look at your calls to action for this video. Create your script around opening your party using the worksheet, which you can download from the Simply Aroma website.
Decide what tone you want to set, how you'll get your guests involved, and how you'll communicate your intentions and your expectations for the party right from the very beginning. You don't have to use my introduction, but you do have to make yours visual and interactive if you decide to do something different. So make sure that you take the time to complete this worksheet and set up this really important part of your party. Next week, we're going to be talking about creating your Simply Aroma story and how to use that at the beginning of your party. I recommend that you go to your calendar and you schedule an appointment with yourself as soon as you're done watching this video to complete the calls to action homework around this video. That way, you're going to be ready to move on with that portion of the training next week. Have a fabulous week and I will see you then.